hello hello welcome back to my channel this is the page that I'm working on today so first and foremost I am going to take a scrap piece of little paper here and I'm going to cover this hole and then I'm going to go in on this side and the edge of this side with my balmy knife so I will do that really really quick and be right back All right, I'm gonna set this aside to dry for a bit. And then what I've done was I have taken a piece of my um, 80 pound card stock that I like to use, and I've cut it down to eight and a half inches tall by three and three quarter inches wide. And my plan here is I'm gonna go in with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple all the way down. But what I wanna do is I wanna take some measurements because I'm going to make it semi-even. And let's see. I just went in and every one and a quarter inches put a little tick. Now I'm going to go in with my colors. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take the stamp from the Stripey Curly Cues and I'm actually going to stamp it downward, leaving like the edge like so, because I also create a mask to go over it and just keep going down. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right along the outside of this line that I created. So now from that same stamp set, I have got more of these flowers and I am just going to lay them out 
going across like so. Something along those lines. But before I do it, I'm gonna go in with my water brush pins and color one, each one in the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple variation. So because this is going to be a pocket, 
I'm going to put two pieces of quarter inch double sided tape top bottom and down the back and then get it stuck on. Now I'm going to take my white Posca paint pen and play around with the border and I don't even know what else. <laughs> I decided to go on with the running stitch here all the way around. And then I believe I changed it up and I grabbed my black Posca paint pen. And I decided to do little stitches across from the colors over. As you can see, this is the page that came after my underwater page where I used the fish face stamps. And it was supposed to be up the day after it, but because I had lost a lot of the footage somehow and it was kind of weird, it took a lot longer to get it up and get it up um, uploaded. But that's okay. We get it done because it doesn't really much matter what order it goes in <laughs> and then I went back and just did little dots on the two little ends of the stitches with the white Posca paint pen and I believe I switch back over to the black and do a running stitch around it and then um, the little stitch marks as well to kind of coordinate with the stitches on the page and of course add the white Posca paint pen on top of it as well. This is the most time consuming part is the doodling but it's okay sometimes it can be a stress reliever. Alright, now it's time to lay the flowers out in the order that I want them to go in. And um, I'm keeping them kind of in that rainbow order a little bit. And then once I have them all laid out, I choose the one on the bottom first and I start sticking it down and I continue that process all the way across. And that is it guys, this is my page for the day. This is probably one of the rare times that I'm actually going to leave the tag the cream color. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> um, I have loads of writing space. I can write all through here 
and on the tag if I really want to. Or if I want to put pictures on, it doesn't matter. I just want to have a play, and I actually love the rainbow colors. I just, they're beautiful. Probably the most iconic arrangement of colors that I can think of. <laughs> um, and so hopefully there's something in this page that can give you inspiration for your journal pages. If you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for watching, for being here, for giving me your time of day. It means a lot to me, a, a whole, whole lot. Um, that being said, until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.